everyone. John McNair here from Arlington County Department of Parks and Recreation. Now, every spring, I like to visit Arlington County Public Schools, where I help out fourth grade teachers with their Civil War units in the Social Studies class. Now, because we can't do this this year, I'm trying to bring those programs to you. So, join me today at Port C.F. Smith Park as I give you an introduction into union life in Arlington County. Port C.F. Smith Park is located at 2411 24th Street North in Arlington, Virginia. The park contains the remains of one of the last Union Army Civil War forts in Arlington County. A one half mile loop will take you all the way around the park. Now one of the first questions I'm always asked whenever I visit a school is, what kind of soldier are you? Are you dressed as a Union soldier or as a Confederate soldier? Now that might sound like an easy question to some, but it's actually a little tricky. So today, we're going to use the Fort C.F. Smith Visitor Center to show you how you can successfully identify a Union soldier. Nowadays, we usually think of color when we think about soldier uniforms. Union soldiers wearing blue and Confederate soldiers wearing gray. The truth is a little more complicated. Back in 1861, at the very start of the American Civil War, you had two armies encamped around Arlington County. The Union Army was encamped in the county and in Washington, D.C., while the Confederate Army was encamped in Fairfax and Falls Church. Now, neither army had a standardized uniform. Many of the regiments that came to the area were volunteer regiments, volunteer militias, state regiments, so there was no uniformity. If you wanted to tell the Union soldiers from the Confederate soldiers, you had to have a keen eye. Now, the blue and gray divide is an easy place to start, but it's not perfect. Some Confederate regiments wore blue, and some Union regiments wore gray. So sometimes, you gotta look for clues in the uniform. Now, the first place you wanna look is at the soldier's equipment. Here, we have a cartridge box where soldiers would carry their ammunition. Now, this cartridge box has a brass plate with US marked on the front. U.S. standing for United States. Now remember, when we talk about the Civil War, we like to get lost in terms like Union and Confederate. So it's important to remember that anytime we say Union, we are saying United States. So if you see the U.S. logo on your equipment, it's a good chance you're looking at a Union soldier. Now it's not just limited to initials. You also have United States symbols. Also on the cartridge box is a circular brass plate with an eagle on it. The eagle, being the national symbol of the United States, is also the national symbol of the Union. You will see eagles like this on cartridge boxes, belt buckles, buttons, just about anything that gets attached to the Union Army uniform. So always keep an eye out for an eagle. Belts are another good place to look. Now if you'll notice, my belt has some new letters on it. S-N-Y. Now, as an exercise at home, take a guess at what S-N-Y might stand for. Pause the video if you think you need more time. If you're ready, we can continue. S-N-Y stands for State of New York. You see, most of the regiments that come to Arlington from the Union are state volunteers. Many of them have been equipped in their states by their states. SNY was a common belt buckle found for soldiers from New York. Many of the soldiers in Arlington and here at Fort C.F. Smith were from the state of New York, so this would have been a common belt buckle among Union soldiers in our county. Now today we've only just scratched the surface. There is so much more to go over when it comes to Union soldier life in Arlington County that we couldn't limit it to just one video. So, once again, this was John McNair from Arlington Parks and Recreation, reminding you to stay safe, and we'll see you at the parks.